So Justin said he believed that God protected Hannibal's property, his brother Hannibal's property, because Hannibal is a Christian. So Monday morning when he came back to work, he began to run after me in suffrages. He said, Andy, I said, yes. He said, I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Son of God. I said, why? He said, because... He said the, the reason he believes in Jesus Christ is because God protected his brother Hannibal's property. Hannibal's wallet was on the table with all his money in there on the coffee table and the thieves never stole it. They only took his brother Justin's property. So he believes that he believes that God protected his brother Hannibal property from the thieves because Hannibal is a Christian. God protected Hannibal's property because Hannibal is a Christian. This way, brother. Praise the Lord. Okay. We're going to make an altar call. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that Jesus died. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross and God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. There, you shall be saved. Point it here. Police, repent. Repent of your racism. That's the police there. We preach to them. We tell let the police of Brixton repent. Amen? So, now, we are here today at the city of Brixton. This is Brixton. Show that. Show the Brixton sign. That's Brixton. This is Brixton town or Brixton train station. Okay, okay back here. This is Brixton train station. We are London River of Life Church. We meet here every Sunday night from 10 o'clock in the evening to 11.30, every Sunday night. So be here. This church is not for children. You have to be 21 years old or above to be a member of our church, the Chelsea Black Church. God told us to come in the street and preach. I'm just going to see, let me see if I can get my reading glasses. Okay. Now we're going to read from uh, before the feast of the Passover. Send there. Before the feast, the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that the hour was come that he should depart out of the world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Jesus loves you, my friend. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. So the Bible says, the Bible says, after supper being ended, the devil having now put into his heart of Judas Ascarot, Simon's son, to betray Jesus. Knowing Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things unto his hand, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rise from the supper and laid aside his garment and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin. Jesus poured water into a basin. Yes. Jesus Christ poured water into a basin. 
and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with his towel where it he was burdened. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto Jesus, Lord, do thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not. Now, what I do thou knowest not now. But thou shalt know hereafter. What I'm doing now, washing the feet of the disciples, you don't know it now, Peter, but afterwards you will know why Jesus is washing the feet of the disciples. Simon Peter said unto Jesus, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Simon Peter said, Lord, don't only wash my feet, wash my hands and wash my head. Jesus said to him, He that is washed needed not save to wash his feet, but is clean every while, and you are clean, but not all. You are clean, but not all. Yes. How are you, brother? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite Bible verse? Uh, what say? Let me hear. Say episode. What is episode? Shiva, uh, the four, four. Uh, the chapter four. Yes. And, uh, did you bring? Did I'm here every Sunday. We are every Sunday, yes. Yes, sir. Every Sunday we are here. Brixton, London River of Life. Every Sunday we are here from 9.30, yes? Hello, sir. How are you? For Jesus knew who would betray him. Therefore he said, If you you are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and he had taken his garment. He was set down again. He said unto them, Know ye what I have done. So what is happening here? The Bible says after supper, Jesus Christ took a towel and wrapped it around his waist. He put water, he put water in a basin and he began to wash the feet of the disciples. He began to wash their feet. So Simon Peter said to Jesus, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, yes. What I'm doing now, you do not understand, but you understand that later. So Simon said, okay, in, case, in that case, wash my hands and wash my feet and wash my head. Jesus said to him, those who are clean don't need to wash. You are already clean, but there are some here who are not clean. So Jesus was washing the feet of the apostles. He was washing the feet. Show the feet here. Jesus was washing the feet of his disciples. Your feet represent peace. The Bible says, the full armor of God, put on the full armor of God. Your feet represent peace. The shoes you wear, the shoes of peace, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, put on the belt of truth, and the shoes of peace. The shoes of peace. Your shoe represent peace. So Jesus washed the apostles' feet. He was giving them peace. Peace of mind, peace in the heart, and peace in the mouth. That's why he told them, when you enter any town, tell the people, peace be upon you. Peace be upon you. Amen? Hey. So tell, tell the people, peace be upon you. This is Brixton Town. We preach here every Sunday night from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. 
from the London River of Life Church. Come and join us every Sunday night from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. We are here. A lot of people come here. The Bible says Jesus told the people, go and tell John the Baptist, the blind eye is open, the deaf ears hear, the lame walk, the lepers are clean, the dead are raised back to life, the good news is preached to the poor, and blessed is he who is not upset because of me. Hallelujah. Hello. How, how many Christians here? Let me see your hands. How many of you here are here to talk to me? Come on this side. If you want to ask a question or you want to make a comment, come forward now. Don't say the, the man of God came here, I wanted to talk to him, and he did not talk to me. So I give you five minutes to come here, ask your questions, come here and make your comments. Hey, repent, repent, repent. You lesbians, repent. You lesbians. Lesbians repent. Women stop kissing each other. Anyway, God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless, brother. So what are you doing here today? What are you doing today? Come on, come on, come on. You're trying to make some money? So what? what Come here, come here, and, and God bless you. What you have to say today? Huh? Easy. Easy? So you're trying to make some money. I'm going to pray for you. This man have held our camera. He, he has... He has held our camera for, ten, for almost an hour while we're preaching here. And he said he want God to bless him with some money. Heavenly Father, we pray for this man. What's your name, son? Justin. We pray for Justin, for, for your blessing to be upon him. The Bible says, God, God said in Deuteronomy 8, 18, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto your fathers. Holy Spirit, bless us now. Bless this ministry. Bless our members. Come here. Wait a minute. Come here. This, this is your friend Justin. He's been holding the camera for us. Huh? Yeah, come through. All of you come here. Let's see. Praise God. Praise God. Bless these people, God. Give them money. Give them opportunities that they'll be able to get money. Bless them from today onwards. In the name of Jesus. Bless this sister. Bless this prayer. Now we're going to say this prayer. I say, Lord Jesus, come and say this prayer, all of you. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. And I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross. That Jesus died on the cross. And God raised Jesus from the dead. And God raised Jesus from the dead. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come and be my savior. Come and be my savior. And my Lord. And my Lord. Wash away my sins, Jesus. Wash away my sins, Jesus. Clean my heart. Clean my heart. Lord Jesus, bless my life. Lord Jesus, bless my life. Give me money. Heal my body. Uh, give me a give me a house. Yes, okay. All of you now, what do you want Jesus to do for you? I want him to help me go get in Cambridge and not get caught. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Go in peace, yeah. Go to church on Sunday. Go to church on Sunday. Hello. It's okay, okay, Justin. Peace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings. Hey, hallelujah. A lot of people. People gave their life to Jesus Christ today. The Bible says, when one sinner repent and come to Jesus, all of creation rejoices. Today, all of creation is rejoicing because three sinners gave their life to Jesus. We want to thank God. We want to give God the glory. Hello, brother. You want to receive Jesus? Three persons gave their life to Jesus Christ today. Three persons came to Jesus today. This is the biggest miracle we have today 
here in Brixton, people are coming to Jesus Christ by the dozen. So God bless you. God bless us all and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine on us and give us peace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My name is Andy Lumer from London River of Life Church. We meet here in Brixton every Sunday night. Sunday night we meet in Brixton. This, this is Brixton.